morning art hostage here and we're going to do another episode well there's an update on our new name mr christopher ems okay right um who is the cryptocurrency expert for the kinahan cartel this is from tuesday the 23rd of august 2022 so a couple of weeks ago his mp is crispin blunt Crispin Blunt condemns foreign secretaries in action over constituent detained in Saudi Arabia. Crispin Blunt today condemned the lack of any British ministerial intervention over his constituent, Mr. Christopher Ems, detained in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia as a result of a US abuse of the Interpol Red Notice system. Eames was originally detained in the kingdom as a result of a US extradition request issued in February and has been unable to leave the kingdom since. Despite no allegation that he has broken international, British or Saudi Arabian law. No, he's on the FBI's most wanted list with accusations of organising a conference in North Korea to show the Koreans how to use blockchain and cryptocurrency. In the last few days, M's lawyer has been advised by Saudi authorities that his travel ban has been lifted. However, when they attended to retrieve his passport, Mr. Eames was unexpectedly detained. Oh, they told lies. Come and get your passport. Your travel ban's lifted. Oh, by the way, you're under arrest. <clears throat> Eames was later presented to a Saudi Arabian court who denied the US extradition request and released Mr Eames without requiring bail. The Saudi Arabian court also lifted the travel ban. To me that sounds like he's cooperating. The Ministry of the Interior have informed Eames lawyer that he will be arrested and detained overnight any time they come across him and he will again be put in front of a judge, even if they will rule as before. Crispin Blunt wonders whether American diplomats continue to play an improper hand and pressure some Saudi officials to ignore their own legal rulings even though this goes against Saudi law and infringes on the ordinary legal and fundamental human rights of his constituent. Commenting, it's difficult to assess this when our government won't engage at all. I told you, behind the scenes, right, there's a battle going on between the US government agencies, right, CIA and DEA and FBI, and MI6. Right, because um, the Kinahans are MI6 assets, long historical MI6 assets, started with Christie Kinahan decades ago. Now this Christopher Eames, if MI6 have got him as an asset as well, they don't want to give him to the Americans. Mr Blunt further commented, Eames should be able to come home now. The relevant departments of the Saudi government need to know that the United Kingdom has an interest in this case will not stand quietly while its citizens are the victim of the application of wholly improper extra-territorially by the USA with no evidence produced to support their case. There is also a perfectly good extradition treaty between the US and UK, and Mr Eames should face any justice process via that route, not via an abuse of the Interpol system. It is a matter of fundamental principle. Our country, our government owes our citizens protection in circumstances like this. Otherwise, what is the value of UK citizenship if we won't help them when they are on the wrong end of other states behaving illegally? I have raised this for months with ministers and now the foreign secretary and they and now the Foreign Secretary, and they can't even be bothered to express concern privately. My constituent and his Saudi lawyer are desperate for his government to get properly engaged. 
This level of ministerial indifference is nothing short of callous. I have done everything I can to privately raise concerns, so I am left no choice but to make his situation and Liz Truss's indifference public. That's when she was the Foreign Secretary. She's now the Prime Minister. Interpol, an extradition expert, Rada Sterling has condemned America's abuse of the Red Notice system, saying we are accustomed to seeing this kind of abuse coming from states like China, Russia and Venezuela, but it is disturbing to see it with such regularity from our ally, the United States of America. We have escalated this case to the United Nations and to Interpol themselves to ensure the US is held to account. The Foreign Office has been repeatedly criticised for their lack of intervention in human rights abuses against British citizens leading foreign nations to feel that they have been given the green light to commit such egregious harm against our nationals. This has to stop. All right. So we got Christopher Eames, okay, he's caught in Saudi Arabia between a rock and a hard place, and, and all this is to do, right, is, is the US want him to cooperate and uh, testify against the Kinahans. The British government don't want him to do that. The Saudi government are playing games in the middle because they know the Kinahans have got a lot of blackmail material and a lot of Middle Eastern leaders. So you can see this cat and mouse game, can't you, that's been going on. But it's a name, right, that's not come up before, and the linkage between the Kinahan cartel, okay, and their cryptocurrency investments, we've got a name now, Christopher Eames. Christopher Eames is the Kinahan cartel's expert on cri cryptocurrency. So he, right, will be a very important witness. But as, as I was saying six months ago, the biggest witness against the Kinahans is Ian Thomas Dixon because he knows where the bodies are buried with regards financial things. So this is going to be Art Hostage 369. Christopher Eames, Kenahan cryptocurrency expert, the plot thickens. Art Hostage signing off.